Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. How's everybody doing? Uh, I did my hair all flouncy today. I was feeling really flirty and fun and flirty, so I thought I'd do my hair up with my uh, brush. Uh, shout out to my friends who uh, hooked me up with uh, beauty products this month. And uh, yeah, how's everybody doing? I, uh, I've been pretty stable, you know, had some up days, some down days. Don't we all? But uh, today I wanna get out there and do some hedge trimming. I haven't done it before, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping uh, to get out there and uh, do a couple, not a lot, but uh, I can't stand it. It's getting so overgrown and young buck, he just doesn't have the time. He's just working so much and it seems like every fucking time he's off, it's raining. So uh, I'm gonna give it a whirl today and uh, we'll see how we do. So I'm wearing a beautiful uh, summery dress and I uh, got my hair all done up and everything because you know, I'm going out to the backyard, but I'm still going out, yeah. And then I got proper footwear on. So you gotta have, no, nope, how can you fucking see the running shoes? Because if I have a little hedge piece come down and stab my foot, I don't want to do that. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So you want to come outside with me and watch me try to head trip? Yeah. All right. So I'm outside. See, take a look around here. I'm going to show you. It's just getting so overrun. It's everywhere. So I can't get through that and it's starting to grow crazy all high everywhere. So I'm just going to do a little trim, see if it works. Okay, I'm ready. You guys ready? Let's give this a try. <laughs> Can you see my tree? Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, why isn't it working? All right. What do you think of that? I don't know why the cord's not working, so we're gonna have to pause on it, but not too bad. Look, it's already shaping up. It's not so bushy. You really can't see the difference, can you? <laughs> but uh, it looks better to me. Whew, that was warm out there. Uh, yeah. So it was a lot of fun though. I really enjoyed doing the hedge trimming. I'm not sure what's going on. I tried the one extension cord and it didn't work. Uh, it had a three prong and the hedge trimmer only had a two. So I switched to an extension cord that had a two and, it, and you saw I got it working for a bit, but it just seemed really difficult. So I don't know, I'll have to try to figure that out, but uh, I didn't want to waste all the time on camera trying to figure that out. That's a waste of time. But. Uh, is what I got now as my reward yeah oh and look at well I was on I was away on vacation for a couple weeks and uh, while I was away I went to one of their local pot shops and I have this thing here and it's called mouthpiece <laughs> I love the name of that but uh, it's spelled like peace I know it's backwards forgive me but uh, yeah it's got a little filter that goes inside of it so that and then you put it on top of your bong so you got an extra filter system because I've been getting resin all over my fucking lips and it's driving me bonkers so I'll show you this is how it starts out see it's just a, a little tiny filter thing uh, it's recyclable and all that but uh, yeah and after a while this side is what's up that I see after inhaling you want to see the other side this is actually only two days of smoking Two days of smoking. Look at this. 
ah, isn't that fucking gross? So all of that isn't in my lungs. It got captured and look at that. It's the only part that came through. So see the difference between the two? I recommend getting it. Uh, I paid in Canada. It was, hmm, I think it was $13.95 for this. And it came with, I think, two or three of these. And then a 10-pack of these come to, I think, $12.95. But that's Canadian, don't forget. So for you guys, it's fucking probably free in America. <laughs> our, uh, our exchange rate is stupid sometimes. But uh, yeah, yeah. So I got that to try to stop the resin effect. And it really is working. It's not a big deal. It just pops on top. It is, um, I think it's silicone because it's all that rubbery stuff. But it does pop off and fall off like that a lot. So that, that's the only downside to it. But I don't really care. That's not, that's not enough of a deal breaker for me to... Uh, Ooh, look at I'm sweating and now my hair is I was outside like doing work for two minutes you see I knew that even though I came from stock that was always workers I was meant to be somebody that didn't work that hard or at least not in the sun I don't know I do not do well in the heat how about you guys I can't even get in a hot tub okay I tried one time oh my gosh I thought I was gonna die I literally had to get out uh, my heart was racing I was shaky I couldn't see straight I thought I was gonna vomit I had to lay down because I was at a gym See, another thing working out. Not for me. Uh, I was at a gym and so I had to lay down in their change room and try to just wait till it passed. And then I tried another time. Didn't work. And then I was really, really lucky in my life to be able to go on a vacation to Iceland. And while I was there, I went to their Blue Lagoon, which is a natural geothermal spa. And it's super, super warm. And it was they had the highest uh, snowfall in like 80 years when I landed. Of course, people everywhere were like, wow, a lot of snow. Eh? And I'm like, eh, Tuesday in Canada. I was hoping to avoid it. But anyway, yeah. So uh, that's um, where I was at. And uh, when I got in the... Uh, the spa thing and I was standing in there I was half and half in and I thought because it was so cold from the snow it would temper it so this is all really cold and this was all super hot nope still had to get out after about five eh, 15 minutes or so I was really shaky didn't feel good again I can't do uh, extreme heat at all uh geez maybe I am supposed to be like in the snow <laughs> But I hate the cool too. I don't know. I'm um I'm a mid-range girl. Of course I'm a Libra also, so that everything I like a mid-range. My weed, I like it as a hybrid. I like a mid-range of temperature, you know. Uh and it, you know what's funny about Canadians anyway. I can't speak for anybody else, but like when it's say for example, mm, let's see, 15 degrees. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I'm sorry, this is Celsius, and uh, I didn't learn Fahrenheit. But six, 15 degrees Celsius in the winter, we're like, wow, it's so warm you know nice day and in the summer it's like oh my god it's so cold same 15 fucking degrees you know but uh i would like it around 20 to 23 if it was not more than 23 degrees and not less than 18 um they have rate uh conversion things on google i really don't know sorry but uh yeah that would be my ultimate temperature and uh you guys in america are so lucky you got so many temperatures down there you just get to do whatever you want if you want a hot place you go down and vacay in a hot place you don't have to leave your country if you want a cold place you can go to a cold place you can vacay you don't have to leave your country Eh, we're not so lucky up here. We don't got a lot of hot places yet, you know. <laughs> um, but, oh, I uh, heard the other day that somebody in Nova Scotia, which is in Canada, got bit by a shark. They said we don't even have a shark registry because in the last hundred years it's happened so rare they don't need one. It's like pretty much everybody can remember the names because there's only like one or two. It's not crazy. Imagine getting bit by a shark in Canada. So beware, they're here too. So anyway, yeah, I did the head trimming and I've been holding my hemp wick, just burning it away. Like, you know, no care in the world or something. I'm a terrible storyteller. I hold on to my bong and I have it lit and I'll talk for like an hour. I'm glad that I don't share with my bong, uh, you know, COVID rules, but uh, usually I have other bongs and uh, other assorted like pipes and papers for other people. Cause not everybody likes using a bong. And so, but uh, yeah, this is the family members that I'm still using while they're out of the country, uh, they're away. So uh, I luckily am holding it for them and they're okay with me using it. But anyway, cheers everybody. I hope you're all doing well or at least stable because, you know, I don't ever say happy as much because happy is, I don't know, that's a, that's a challenging word for me. You know, when people tell me I'm happy, then I feel guilty that I'm happy. Like, oh, uh, I mean, in, in, in the moment I felt some joy, but you know, overall there's days that I'm struggling. But when I was like, oh yeah, I'm so happy. 
Wow, looks, I'm good at looks, you know. I also look flirty hair today, look at fluffy hair. It's just a look. But uh, some days are better than others. And for those of you struggling also, uh, I'm here for you. I love all of you. You're all my tribe. And, uh, you know, not every day is going to be a good day. We have ups and downs. But remember on the down days that a good day is coming because when you had a good day, a bad day came. So they all just keep coming around and around. So cheers to just waiting it out and, uh, you know, scrolling videos that make you want to feel positive instead of... Uh, uh, focusing on the negative because it's so easy to focus on the negative we really do it well as a species sometimes I think and uh, what's really good well green nail polish for me it's a treat it's pretty I wouldn't have probably worn this you know 20 years ago I would have thought it was strange but I really like it it's pretty I've got marijuana that's pretty good I got this medicine here at my fingertips now don't forget we're in Canada so it is legal and I'm sorry to all of you guys that are still not legalized there but I love you all I support you all and I support uh, the legalization of cannabis for medicine in your area too cheers Still comes out just fine. It's just I don't get the resin or whatever. So it's a much better uh, look and feel for me. <laughs> I uh, enjoy that. So I got two little fun quotes for you. One is unknown. And it says, when life gives you shit, grow a garden. I like that one. That's pretty good. And Audrey Hepburn said, uh, to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. Because, of course, you don't get exact results instantaneously and sometimes we want everything instantaneously like a buzz <laughs> and uh yeah so i'm hanging out with my kitty look at my new uh makeup bag i got it isn't it cute have fun love all that kind of stuff and this one says bold moves only this month amp up everything that makes you happy and then it talks about the makeup but that was where the uh green one was from got another lipstick not the one i'm wearing because i was trying another one but this one's not it's more of a mm, sedate color so i didn't really want to wear that today for the video got a new mascara and you know these mascaras are really cute because look how tiny they are they're great for a purse you know or a backpack or whatever and uh i got some i got a new brush so pretty i got some uh, body lotion i put it on this is by Kali Kali c i don't know anyway i don't smell it on me at all anymore and i got jamie Juliet has a gun. It's a little spray. So not bad. Um, I they already got one of these from them before. It's a nice scent. I recommend that one more. But this stuff, like I said, it was really runny, like almost watery too. And uh, I can't really smell it. So I don't really recommend it. Anyway, cheers my tribe. I hope you have a lovely day out there. Don't take shit from anybody. Remember, you're special. You all are special. There's only one of each of us. We should all be in a museum how fucking rare we are. Remember that. Don't settle. Cheers.